Every 28 and one half days, when the moon is in the sign of the zodiac that the sun was in at the birth of the native, there is a seed or psycho, physical germ born in the or out of the solar plexus, the manger, and this seed is taken up by the nerves or branches of the pneumogastric nerve and becomes the fruit of the tree of life or the tree of good and evil. Good if saved and cast upon the waters, circulation, to reach the pineal gland, and evil if eaten or consumed in sexual expression on physical plane, or by alcoholic drinks, or gluttony that causes ferment, acid and even alcohol in intestinal tract. Thus, no glutton or drunkard can inherit the kingdom of heaven for acids and alcohol cut, or chemically split, the oil that unites with the mineral salts in the body, and thus produces the monthly seed. This seed, having the odor of fish, was called Jesus, from Ichtos, Greek for fish, and Nun, Hebrew for fish. Thus Joshua the son of Nun, I am the bread of life, I am the bread that came down from heaven, give us this day our daily bread. This seed is born in the solar plexus in every man and woman, starting around the age of twelve, and it happens every 28.5 days when the moon enters the sign that the sun was in at the time of our birth. This seed or physical germ contains the essence of life and is encased by a delicately thin capsule for protection. It is the same as the swaddling cloths that the baby Jesus was wrapped in after he was born in Bethlehem. If this capsule is broken before reaching Golgotha, the tomb in the skull, the precious oil, the Christos, the sacred secretion will be lost. It will disintegrate and corrupt the blood rather than regenerate the blood. What things can destroy the capsule of protection on this priceless secretion? The seven deadly sins for a start. Wrath, greed, lust, slothfulness, envy, gluttony and pride will all destroy the oil if allowed to rule your life. These vices can become the virtues of peace, generosity, purity of intent, courage, compassion, temperance and humility. Alcohol, cigarettes, drugs, overeating and sex during the time of the month that the moon is in your sun sign will certainly destroy this sacred secretion. The blood of Christ cleanseth from all sin, therefore from all disease. Here is the physiological explanation. When the Christed substance, the ointment from the river Jordan, the oil in the spinal cord reaches the pineal gland. It vibrates to a rate that causes new blood, new wine. This is the blood of Christ that heals all infirmities. When this sacred Christos, precious oil, is allowed to rise up the spinal cord and cross the medulla oblongata, where this oil is crucified, meaning to increase in power a 1,000-fold, not to kill, then it moves into the tomb of the skull, the fornix. Here it sits for 2.5 days, the period of time when the moon is in your sun sign, and on the third day it ascends to the pineal gland, the father. The pineal gland connects the cerebellum with the optic thalamus, the third eye, the throne of God, the light within. This vital substance is the breath of life that was breathed into man, which will regenerate the blood and therefore the body when saved each month. The temple of God is your body, not a building. We're never taught this information because the powers that be don't want us to understand what we are. They prefer us confused, distracted and deceived. Give them bread and circuses and they will never revolt, juvenile. For the past 500 years, it was the church's role to mislead the masses. Now the scientism and new age community has gleefully taken over that role. On either side of the thalamus in the head is a gland known in physiology as the pineal on the posterior and the pituitary on the anterior side of the thalamus. The pineal is cone-shaped and secretes a yellow or golden fluid. The pituitary body opposite it is ellipsoid in shape and contains a whitish secretion, like milk. The fluids that are found in both these bodies come from the same source, namely the clostrum, which means barrier or cloister and is referred to as cloister for the very good reason that a precious and holy thing is secreted or secluded there. Santa Claus is another term for this precious fluid, which is indeed a holy gift in the body of each one of us. The precious fluid which flows down from the clostrum separates, part going into the pineal gland and part to the pituitary body, and these, being special laboratories of the head, differentiate the fluid from the clostrum 
and it takes on the colors above mentioned and in the pineal gland becomes yellow and has electric properties. The pituitary body, having the milk-like fluid, has magnetic properties. These two glands are the male and female, the Joseph and Mary of the physical body, and are the parents of the spiritual son born in the solar plexus of each human being, commencing about the age of 12. This yellow and white material, which is the milk and honey referred to in the Bible, the children of Israel having been given the promise of a return to this land flowing with milk and honey, reaches the solar plexus, the Bethlehem of the physical body. In Hebrew, Bethlehem means house, Beth, of bread, Lehem. I am the bread of life, said the allegorical Jesus, 